Welcome to the School of Life. Today we want to look at our health again. We want to talk about the devil's tree, the health benefits. In fact, we are going to talk about 16 benefits of the devil's tree as far as our health is concerned. I want you to watch everything from the beginning to the end so that you to improve your health because you know that health is wealth. My name is Prince Jesse. Keep watching. Today we are talking about the devil's tree. The devil's tree, it has a lot of names depending on the cultures and then the geography that the tree grows in because of its benefits. Uh, so I will expose to you what that tree is, the real names of the tree and how you can identify them and how you can use them but before i do that i want you to i want you to know that the devil's tree has a lot of benefits if you have diarrhea it can help you cure it arthritis it can help you cure it indigestion it can help you cure it when you are fatigued or when your energy is sapped or you are too tired it can help you out it helps in curing fever it, it helps in curing ascariasis, that is worm infection, roundworm to be specific. It also helps when you have a lot of phlegms or mucus in you and you want to get them out. You know, the devil's tree will help you do that. Are you suffering from rheumatism? The devil's tree will help you so that you can come out of rheumatism. Are you suffering from headache? Real headache, pain. Yes, the devil's tree is out there to help you. Aphrodisiac, those of you who would want to perform and last longer, who would want to be men in bed, the devil's tree has that capacity to help you. Okay? And then when you are also suffering from indigestion or from gastritis or mucus stool, Okay, yes, slimming or mucus to mucus. When it is full of mucus, this one can help you out. Are you suffering from any form of hernia, especially the scrotal hernia? This one can help you out. And then when it comes to the treatment of joint pains, ulcer, and pains in general, the devil's tree is out there to help you. Now, let's look at how we can use the devil's tree to cure our various ailments, our various diseases. These are tested and they are proved. They are proven to be working from experience, from our culture, you know, it works. And therefore, if you should follow this recipe or these procedures, you'll be able to have the health benefits of the devil's tree. And then your health will be improved. You know that Nowadays, everybody wants to the natural way, the natural remedies, because the side effects of some of these natural remedies are so limited. Our great grandfathers knew this, and that was how they were able to treat themselves, and they were able to live longer, over a hundred years, because they knew the trees, the herbs, the roots, the leaves, the shrubs that were medicinal and they took them from time to time even when they were not ill and that helped them it helped boost their immune system and then they were able to fight a lot of diseases and they were able to live longer so why don't we go that way so that our lives can be better now let's look at how to use the devil's tree to cure diseases number one if you are suffering from diarrhea diarrhea just boil the back just get the back of the tree you know and boil it take twice that is in the morning and then in the evening okay and then you'll be okay does it as right this yes boil it what you call decoction just boil it and then take twice in a day if you are suffering from indigestion make an infusion that is try and get the devil's tree and put water around it and leave it for some time maybe you can do start in the morning and by the evening it will be ready 
So at bedtime, during bedtime, when you are about to go to bed, then you take some. Is it fatigue? Are you fatigued? Are you so tired? Is your energy sapped? Then what you would have to do is that you also have to make an infusion of the devil's tree powder. You get a powdered form of the devil's tree, just two teaspoon, two teaspoon, and you mix into water. And then you take twice a day and then you'll be okay. The next one we want to talk about is fever. Are you suffering from fever? Normally, when you have feverish conditions, you see that your body, the temperature rises. What you have to do is that you can crush the roots of the devil's tree and then you mix it just about a quarter of what? The teaspoon you mix with hot water and then you take and then you'll be okay. And then ascariasis. Ascariasis is worm infection, round worm infection. When you have ascariasis, all that you are supposed to do is that you will mix the powder form of the devil's tree. It could be the back. You can, you know, grind it to become a powder. And then you mix it with a lukewarm water. And then you take at bedtime. And then you'll be okay. Did you want to deal with flames in you? Flames, cold, you know, stuffy nose and all those things. All you also have to do is that you grind, you grind the roots of the devil's tree and then mix a quarter teaspoon with warm water and then you take and then you'll be okay. When it comes to rheumatism, rheumatism of all forms, okay, yes, what you are supposed to do is that you can just take a quarter of the DT roots powder. That is the devil's tree, the root, the, 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 the powdered form of the roots. Take just a quarter teaspoon and then you try and then you mix it with a lot of water and then you drink once a day. If you want, you can also grind the back and then you make a paste and then you warm it a little and then you bandage it, you know, you, you apply it to the affected area and then you do what? you bandage it tightly and then you will see the effects. The next one I want to talk about is the headache. Are you suffering from headache? All you are supposed to do is that you grind the back of the devil's tree and then you mix some water to make paste. You know, you make a paste out of it. You warm it a little and then you apply it on the forehead with a bandage over here. You apply it here and then after some time you'll be free. Is it aphrodisiac that you want? Aphrodisiac. Boil the seeds of the devil's tree in a cup of water. Just get a cup of water and then you boil it. If it is the area you want to treat, what you are supposed to do is that get a tray teaspoon three teaspoonful of powdered back and then you soak it in a glass of boiling water and then you filter and then you take two times in a day are you suffering from gastritis gastritis yes take half teaspoon of the powdered back soak in boiling water and then you take after one hour yes that's it is it mucus? Are you suffering from mucus stools? The same thing. Take just half teaspoon of the powdered back and then you soak it in the boiling water, you filter, and then you take once a day, you'll be okay. Scrotal hernia. Hernia. Take the root powder, just half teaspoon in a cup of lukewarm water, and then you take and then you'll be okay. Ulcer. Joint pains. All you are supposed to do is that prepare a paste of it from the back of the tree and apply it to the affected area and then you are okay so basically these are some of the benefits of the devil's tree now what is the devil's tree what is it it has a lot of names as i have said but the scientific name is astonia scholaris astonia scholaris or astonia Brunei, that is it.
In Ghana, some call it Nyamidria. The accounts call it Nyamidria. Now, what is the devil's tree? The devil's tree has a lot of names and it grows in tropical West Africa. In countries like Senegal, uh, Guinea Bissau, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Senegal, and then Guinea itself. So basically, you can find these over there. Scientifically, it is known as Astonia scholaris. Astonia scholaris. Or Astonia buni the wild. Yes, but we have local names. In Ghana, for instance, the Akans call it Unyamidria. That is the sky god's tree. The sky god's tree, Unyamidria. The Adangbis call it Adawara. The Fantis also call it Unyamidria. The Wasa people call it Sinu or Sindru. And then we have the Sefi people call it Emi. And the Yoruba in Nigeria call it Ahun. Okay, so basically the names are so many depending on the geographical location and then the cultural significance of this tree. Many people believe that this tree has a lot of um, spiritual uses. People have these beliefs, but we are concentrating on the medicinal properties of these herbs and how it can help us cure our ailments. I would want you to search for it, to get to know the name that your people give to it. If you like this content, why don't you subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you some more. Like it and share it with friends and families that they can also benefit. Thanks for watching.